He broke that like one of the more what is it, 48 Law of Power? He broke that mother he telling on his son, his blood. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's too crazy. So uh he I'm like, was yeah, talking yeah. I'm like, this, crazy, gonna, this gonna be the one. And so in the video He talking about this gonna be the one like it's just a hit. It's gonna be the most disrespectful song ever on the most beautiful beat. He already dead, it ain't no need to check his vitals pics. Yeah. He already dead, it ain't no need to check his vitals. Clock in, clock in. Black got it walk in. Team Black gotta stand up, man. Yo. Right now, we got the video of the Mr. Magician himself. Is the magicians the, the people who be seeing the future? No, nah, magicians do tricks. I'm tripping. Is bro a mind reader or something? Nah, mind readers read people's minds. Who is the people who tell the future? Oh, Mr. That's So Raven himself. Fulio. Now, I know a lot of y'all know that. Um, Fulio said Queso Dad was going to tell way before he even told, bro. And I'm trying to think like that. I, like, you know something we don't know? Or he just knew when it came down to it, his dad was going to be the, his downfall, whatever the case may be. Even though Queso is not really looking guilty at all, you feel what I'm saying, to me. But I'm just seeing this from the outside. All I know is his daddy needs some new shaving cream because he can't get his head as bald as it used to be. So he willing to do anything to get home. I got to go shave that head. Now, we done seen people fold on everybody. At this point in time, bro, I'm not surprised who tell on who no more. Folks is willing to tell on their mom, auntie, grandma. Hell, they willing to tell on their pet. They pet dog. They willing to tell on everybody get out of trouble at this point, folks. I ain't surprised by nothing. But I guess this interview explains how Fulio knew his dad was going to do this. Screw me. You had a brother named Bibby? Yeah, that's my little brother. I ain't want my chain, so I ain't even brought should have woman chain. But yeah, that my little brother, he had died though. Right. Uh, y'all, don't vape. Y'all see what. Don't vape, y'all. Don't vape. Uh, can you tell us one of your favorite memories with your brother, Bibby? Uh, one day. We was really, we was really teasing it. Well, not, I didn't say teasing. We was at a show I had in Tallahassee. And we had some females coming. When the females come around, he get real, like, quiet, like, go to looking like a demon. And we like, Jit, what's up? What you, what you gonna scare the f away? Like, what you doing with type? The clown, it was just look, look like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look like that. I missed you that, though. That was my little name. How old was he when he passed? 16. Wow, young man. Yeah. And um, that was, that was, that was due to, like, some street beef? Yeah, that's why Queso locked up for Bibby. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm 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 putting it all together, you know? Yeah. Um so so Queso locked up on your brother. Yeah. And his pop telling on him. Yeah. About some about another murder though. Some other That's crazy. That's crazy for that. He broke that's like one of the more what is it, 48 Law of the Power? He broke that mother he telling on his son, his blood. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's too crazy. So uh so man, how do you uh you know how do you keep your head high, you know, stay out the way, you know? Uh and, and, and keep your nose out of, you know, stuff like that. Stay in the studio, stay busy, video shoots, shows. Just try to stay like consistent, stay positive, and, like on the road, like that, and stay out of Jacksonville as much as possible. Cause I get terrorized by the police when I'm down there. So I, your biggest song to date is the uh, the Who I, uh, I mean when I uh, when, when I, I see, I see you, you, yeah, remix. Mm -hmm. Thirty-eight million views. Yeah. Can you tell us uh, the process of making that song, the concept, and how you you know how you came up with it? Uh, I was in Miami with my dogs. We was in the studio, and I was I was going through my comments like I was like, "Damn, what songs did I remix?" They were saying Molly Stars, Party in the USA. They were saying I was type, but they was I saw Fantasia when I see you. Damn, that Party in the USA probably would have been hard though, look here. I put the beat on and I punched in through the whole song. Like I'm a punch in, like I punch in bar the bar type, and I just did that. Man. After I listened to it, it's crazy. I was listening, I said. Down, this finna go viral, boy. <laughs> the engineer, I mean, not even the engineer, the cameraman, he didn't even wanna put his, like, his name on 
And that shit was so funny. I'm like, bro, you good. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to put his name on this shit. Mm-hmm. Well, how, how, how did you know that it was going viral, though? If you listened to it after you just laid nah, it down? It was, it was the people I had with me. Like, I had, like, some females with me, my brother with me. Mm-hmm. Engineers, they listened to the they like, boy, you talking crazy on that. <laughs> right. You talking crazy. He like, was yeah, talking yeah. crazy. Like, this, this gonna be the one. And so in the video, he talking about this gonna be the one. Like it's just a hit. It's gonna be the most disrespectful song ever on the most beautiful beat. Right. That's what y'all call the one now. Whatever, just the most disrespectfulest. That's the one. Video. You uh, <laughs> you went to visit somebody gravesite? Nah. Nah, I did that. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Where y'all shoot the video at? We was at a graveyard. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't at nobody's grave though. Oh, okay. Just for the video type. Yeah, just for the video. Okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, man, 38 million, 38 million views. Um, the fans love disrespectful stuff now, bro. They love disrespectful music, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, like we talked about Charleston White earlier, like, Dude, dude, dude got his name, his name busting from being disrespectful. Like, you know, yeah. a lot of these rappers get their name buzzing from being disrespectful. Yeah, well, I could do the most disrespectful Oh, uh, you think this is the most disrespectful record that came out of Florida? Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. He said. So, but it's it, it, it top five. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, they said, man, you know this too disrespectful when the cameraman refused to put his details in the description. I told you. <laughs> put his name on the shit. I'm like, bro, you good. Yeah. He kept, bro, I don't want to. I'm like, bro, you good. Did he put his name on that? He tripping though if he did. Mm-hmm. I, and I told him, I said, bro, watch this song do over. I said, five million. That went past 20. I said, damn. He straight wrote me like, damn, you was right. I pulled to put my credits on that. Mm-hmm. Told you. <laughs> you you received any backlash from the record though? Uh, from niggas who like who you was talking about? Yeah, yeah. They, of course they go say so. But not everybody was it. I bought my own tour out that. Like, mm-hmm. I was lit. I'm bro, still mm-hmm. rolling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. When you when you got a hit record like that, you know it definitely can take you far. You know what I'm saying? Tell us about some uh some upcoming projects you got. Uh, my mixtape from the drop March third, Final Destination. Okay. Just me on that, no features. Hell yeah, that's hard. So just be on the lookout for that. That be so hard. Mm-hmm. And then it's on. I'm gonna keep it real. Probably on the, it's only one song that's gonna like a drill song. Gonna it's straight versatile. The rest of the song is versatile. Okay. Tell us some uh some future goals and aspirations you got in this in this rap game. Somebody blowing. Damn. Right, let me just ask you. Keep this rolling. This is yeah. Scam Lightly. Hello? Scam Lightly. Hello? Hello? Oh, we finna cut the, uh, Scam Lightly, man. What the fuck? We, uh, we keep rolling. But yeah, tell us some, uh, future goals and aspirations you got in this rap game. Uh, I want them all. Start my own label, mm-hmm. go to sign the people like the upcoming artists, like artists in my hood, like everywhere, like get my rolling, like like how Jay Z them is, guy got it, don't get what I'm saying. I want to be like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And for the young men, brought us out here running the streets, you know, uh, they trying to figure out their way, you know what I mean. But they 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 love listening to Fulio, you know, they watch his interviews. Uh, what's some advice you can leave for them, you know, a message to the youth. Uh, I'm gonna keep it real though. I tell people every day, even when I talk to Jigs, I don't like the shit I rap about. I'm not trying to be a role model. I'm rapping about my life. It's not recommended. Go to school, like, Straight go up. to college, get your Straight degrees, up. good, you know what I'm saying? Respect your, pe- your parents, up. your mom, your daddy, grandma, whoever you stay with. Like, Straight stay up. positive. Like, do the do other things you want them to do to you. You get what I'm saying? Up. But just stay out the way, man. Just you ain't gotta be a follower of the leader just cause you see somebody what somebody rap about, the money, the cause, like that's gonna come regardless. Whether Great you talk. a doctor, uh uh entrepreneur, whatever you wanna be, you get what I'm saying? Be what you wanna be in life, don't be a follower. Straight up. Bro. What the f- what the f- 
obviously like the message Fulio just gave, bro. Cause we got a lot of people who see a rapper and feel like, oh, I'm finna actually be what that rapper talking about. Sometimes these rappers is not actually what they talking about, and what they're talking about is not something they're currently doing. It's probably something they came from. And if you ask them, a lot of their homeboys ain't make it through, and they were doing the same thing. So look at you and look at all your homeboys and realize, them. If one of us make it, it's probably just going to be one of us. The rest of us might be gone. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, don't be a follower. Be a leader. I like that. And Fulio, how the hell you knew Kazo Dad was going to tell? He did break 48 law. How the hell you going to tell him your, your blood, your child? Boy, this shit so crazy out here, boy. Who saw? You feel what I'm saying? You're supposed to protect your children. These folks is giving away their children for free. Tripping. Chasing at the Frito Lays, I just want the chills. Know these haters getting mad, cause they see I'm good.